K plus A Ray Ban. You got Ray Bans? Yes. These are the eyes of a tiger. Yeah. I got a big one. So you poke his eyeballs out and you get him? You go to a tiger and just poke his eyeballs out <laughs> and then take? <laughs> no, 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 no. What are the tiger eyes, right? Yeah, yeah. Man, oh man. You have to love their hustler's mentality, man. It is second to none. However, being a hustler myself, you know what I'm saying? I see this in every country I go to, even in my city, every place I travel to. But you know what? I respect people that sell things and are trying to get an earnest living. All right. So if you all have seen some of my other videos in different countries and different locations, everywhere I go, I got damn turn up. I turn up everywhere I go, but sometimes you need to rest. You need to seek tranquility, serenity. And Subic Bay was one of these places where I wanted to find that. I met up with an old naval dog, and he wanted to show me this destination. So we left Angeles City and packed our bags and went here. And this is how it went. Where do they do this stuff at? <laughs> Subic Bay is actually really easy to access. Scorebirds Hotel actually allows you to leave your luggage there and they also offer a shuttle service to Subic Bay and different locations. But for travel purposes and education, I took the city bus route and that's what we did. What we did was we took the bus route right out of um, Walking Street. If you walk down, it's probably about three quarters of a mile on the right there's a mall and all you have to do is sit there and wait for the bus that says Subic Bay and it was very inexpensive a price that I don't even remember talking about it was like under under fifteen dollars under ten dollars probably cheaper than that so what we ended up doing was getting on the bus and the buses run about every hour on the hour they're air conditioned cooled and just sat back and watched this cool scenery This right here was a well needed transition for me just to be able to relax, kick back. But, Subic Bay, here we come. Let's get it. When we got off the uh, bus, we took a taxi around to the beach side and basically walked from the beach till up here. It wasn't a long hike. But what's funny is that we had a taxi driver that kept saying, Hey man, I'll give you a free ride. Hey man, come on, free ride. Now, come on man, we from America. Nothing is free. And basically he told us the wrong directions, but we still end up making it here to this gate. And from this gate right here, we just took a jeepney. On my vacations, nothing's really planned. And so we just rode around till I found a hotel that I was comfortable staying at. And that's how it went. Basically right here, I'm just giving you a tour of the property, showing you how it looks. I mean, the property is pretty nice. It's real quiet out here, but they are going through some renovations. And you want to stay on this side. These are the new buildings right here. This is a very peaceful morning in Subic Bay right here. The guys out there fishing, catching their lunch. But here comes Herbie. 
Now Herbie gets up every morning, zero dark thirty, and starts his exercise regimen. But I think on this particular morning, I think Herbster pushed it to the edge a little bit. He's out there doing side straddle hops, calisthenics, leg raises, all while wearing speedos. I'm like, come on, man. I mean, it made me spit my oatmeal out. I was like, I literally threw up in my mouth. After all of his gyrating of the hips and everything and teasing the waiter staff, he finally looked outside and said, hey, you little monkeys need to quiet it down. I said, little monkeys? I said, oh, hell no. Nah. He done went full retard. His cardio game is probably up to par. He's having flashbacks from Nam, and he's ready to get some. I mean, here's my thing, man. It doesn't matter where you're from, it's where you're at. Leave your bad ideologies and bad practices at home. I mean, racism doesn't need deserve to be anywhere. I sip my orange juice real slow, waiting to see what's gonna happen. But miraculously, they just kind of left him alone. And it reminded me from the other video clip when I was at Burgo Street. I actually said something to that. Man, leave your racist thoughts at home. I mean, leave these people alone. This is not your granddaddy's island. And the crazy thing, that's not the last I saw Herbie. I seen him later on that night, but we'll get into that later. Good balance. Good balance. Oh. Best one, nice display. Yeah. yeah, it is nice, man. I got uh, also shade, class A, Ray-Ban. You got Ray-Bans? Yes, class A. Class, what's class B? Well, it's not really good class B, but better class A. Oh, class B, class A means better than class B. Yeah. It's clear. How much are these class A's? I gave you only two fifty. Oh, that's a real good price. Two fifty. Yeah. Nice. This one is a tiger. I engage. These are the eyes of a tiger. Yeah. I got a big one. So you poke his eyeballs out and you get him? You go to a tiger and just poke his eyeballs out? <laughs> and <then> take? <laughs> no, 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 what the tiger eyes, right? Yeah, yeah. No, they, 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 they say that's only jade. tiger eye, but look like tiger eye, you yeah, know? That's jade. Oh, it's yeah, a, yeah. oh, it's a jade, it's okay. Jade, yeah, that's yeah. a stone, yeah. Oh, okay, like, I'm sorry, I get confused. Yeah, it's okay, no problem. Like, how you poke a tiger eye out? Give <laughs> <laughs> his eyeball real quick. How much are these uh, keychains? This one, I give you three for 100, keychain. And this one, I give you a 50 peso for the fridge magnet. This is fridge magnet, man. Okay. Oh, it sticks. Yeah, this is a uh, ceramic. Oh, nice. I give you best price. You buy now, I give you best price because later I go home. What time are you going home later? Uh, so I can catch 12. you. 12. So if I come out here at 11.55, you're going to be here, right? <laughs> oh, so I can get a good deal. Well, I give you the best price. You, you buy give me the best, best price. So how much these keychains? How much? Okay, this one I'm asking three for one hundred. You make uh, four for one hundred. You give me four. Yeah, four for one hundred. You said three. I give you four for one hundred. When y'all come to Subic Bay, stop by and see Alex. He made a special deal for me. Yeah, that's a good deal. Good deal. Hey, to my surprise and satisfaction, um. There wasn't a lot of tourists here. And that's one reason why I bought from Alex. I mean, I already had a lot of souvenirs, but, you know, I always try to support the cause. Um, these guys out here, they're working hard. It's not a lot of tourists out here. So, you know, I, I'm not a humanitarian or anything. I'm not rich, but I do my part where I can. Another reason why I always try to support, but I only do it when I leave, is because, like in some other countries, they're not going to ask you. They'll go upside your head. <laughs> so I always can respect somebody who's trying to earn an a honest living. While out here touring um, Subic Bay with the Naval Dog, he was telling me how things had changed so much. It's like nostalgia watching him go through it, remembering all this stuff used to be dirt roads. And, you know, I was a kid at that time, so it was cool to hear from his point of view. I want to give a shout out to all the armed forces, everybody that served, and all the retirees. Um, my first time meeting Filipinos and Asians, period, was when my dad was stationed in Hawaii. And I had the pleasure of staying there for eight years. I did not know there were so many Asians there. But um, Philippines has great history. 
this is a great place to take a vacation and get away from the tourist scene. Besides the racism I've seen, this was a very relaxing, tranquil spot. I advise you all to go to it, but you know me, I gotta turn up. So I went back out later on by myself, and who did I run into? The Herbinator. I went to go take a piss, and I seen him getting stroked up in the back. I'm like, what the hell is going on? But hold on, I think I got the footage. I think I got the footage. Hold on. Maybe some of these ladies will want a serving of Irving, if you know what I'm saying. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Be pretty, girl. No, Herb. Herbinator. Herbie. Say you didn't do that, man. Say that wasn't you, man. But it was. I caught you on camera. If you don't want to be on my camera, don't be doing stupid stuff in other countries. But anyways, man, I advise y'all do not buy that Viagra, that heart attack and appeal that they're trying to sell you. It'll make you do stuff like this. But anyways, bad night for Herbinator, man. Or maybe he just wanted to end the night. But hey man, I went back to Angel City and turned back up. More vacation trips coming soon. Cebu, here we come. Take that monkey shit off. You embarrassed to look.